Okay, I haven't worked on a JX3P to any extent, just cleaning keys and so on like I had to do on this one. To remove all the keys that you want to get under, of course, I just put the blacks back in there to pull that top dirty strip out. And uh, <clears throat> this one had a few bad solder joints on the front panel. I pulled it all off and did it and pulled the power supply thinking maybe there was something there too, but it was okay. They had added wires that double jumpered the 5 volt. I'm not sure why that was there. They thought that was going to fix something, I guess. Maybe they were confused by the non-volatile. If you pulled 5 volt off this chip, that's non-volatile. IC42, and uh, I added a little capacitor here, as you can see, and I advise doing that, a 0.22 microfarad or something there will help kill noise. There is no filtering on the other side of that diode uh, that bleeds down from the 5 volt, and it tends to have a noisy um, noise there uh, when you scope it, and I just thought, well, might as well smooth that out and uh, less than likelihood of some pulse causing an issue. But anyway, I socketed a bunch of stuff looking for the actual problem. The problem was the manual doesn't give you a complete synopsis of what happens. It starts to, but then it uh, doesn't really finish the job. So you've got a um, you've got a RAM chip there that uh, has a line for the chip enable from pin 6 of that IC42, and for some reason it goes topside. Can you see the wire? Get the light right. You should be able to see the wire. Oh, come on. I can't see it. Anyway, there's a wire there. <laughs> Trust me, that uh, bridges the um, trace that got decrepit somehow and uh, stopped connecting. So chip enable wasn't working, hence the thing couldn't read any data from the RAM, and it wouldn't proceed. The lights just stayed on. Now it's all working nicely and everything's responding on the front and all, but uh, I tried to uh, also check the uh, socket of the memory chip. For some reason I'm getting intermittent readings on that Zeltec programmer on certain types of chips the 8749 uh, or 8049-8048 chips that were in the Poly 6 over here. I had similar issues with not good and uh, burned some chips and they read solid but that wasn't the issue there either. Every, I put back the original chips because everything actually worked in this that I thought was bad. Tried a new CPU and no go. But yeah, that fixed it right up once we got that jumper um, soldered in there for that uh, line that there was no reason for that to go top side. There's nothing underneath for it to jump. So why did they do that? I don't know. Look at it sometime when you're pulling one of these boards out and you'll see what I mean. It's like that's the most meaningless thing. I just I put the wire in right there by the RAM chip. <laughs> light better, yeah, you should be able to see it there.